Hello everybody and welcome back to the Occult Rags to Riches Challenge. So we are in the process of searching for the Moonwood uh, Mill relics in Moonwood Mill, shockingly enough, with our werewolf. Even less surprising. <laughs> so our uh, witch and our vampire are, are at home at the moment doing their own thing. I'm going to go back to them soon, but we, I thought while we're at Moonwood Mill, because it costs us a thousand simoleons uh, to travel, to a different world that we would try and take advantage and find as many relics as we can so our werewolf Sylvia is just currently having a meal I've got her in pretty good condition so I thought we can get her doing some more digging around and it's actually helping getting our uh, werewolf abilities up as well so we're almost halfway up our little uh, thing so I think we're doing pretty well with her and we have so far found um, one two three four five relics out of a possible 12 so we need to find all 12 to be able to complete our werewolf uh, werewolf werewolf uh, goals <laughs> so uh, we've got to have all the moonwood relics and we've got to buy uh, I think three other werewolfy items to go in the house as well so we've got to keep making money too but it's actually quite handy with a scavenge in the ground because we are actually finding things that we can make money from as well at the same time. If we find things, we're not always finding things, but that's cool. So we've got this Lindsay, so another 65 simoleons. I'm going to uh, refine that diamond when we get back to our lot so that I can sell that. Uh, so she's constantly scared of the dark or something here. Yeah, she's afraid of the dark, which is kind of an annoying fear for a, for a werewolf who likes to go out in the dark and have a howl. So we haven't had any luck so far finding any more relics. I'm not too sure where, if there is like specific places that I should look or what the story is. I found some upgrade parts so, So I'm just kind of winging it and seeing how we go, <laughs> basically. Because I guess you never know. Clank, 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 heroic gentle persons gather about, ah, oh, night, night. Night, night. So I might do some more digging around here. Ooh, is that a collectible mushroom? We could cook those. Yes, we can harvest those. Thank you. Oh, okay. So we found a mooncaster pot shard. Pot shard. Uh, so what is that? That's an uncommon one. So that's great. So we've got six. We're halfway there. We're doing really well. I actually was a bit worried about whether or not we would be able to do all the Moonwood Relic findings, so um, I'm actually pretty happy with this. We've got a time capsule, so we can open that. But it is really exhausting doing all this digging because I'm like, I was all in the green when we started this, and I've only sort of dug up a few times, and I'm already getting pretty tired. So that's not great. And it, like for some reason, my bladder goes down really quickly. I don't know if that's a werewolf thing or what that is. So we found old Gabby. Good old Gabby. You can sell old Gabby for 25. Thank you very much. Uh, is there anywhere else I should dig? Maybe around here? Like, I'm just thinking whether or not, like, you have to dig in, like, each of the different areas of the map. Maybe that would be a good idea. Like, you know, dig in the bar, dig in the... Uh, I don't know, other places, <laughs> whatever they are, like this old place here, maybe we should go there and dig in there, we can maybe do that, see how we go, digging, 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 do, like digging over here, oh, we need to go to the bathroom already, yikes, hang on, hang on, should, before you go over there, let's use that bathroom, seriously, why is there, um, bathroom need going down so quickly it's like crazy quickly is that something to do with being a werewolf or something I don't remember maybe I need to be marking my territory or something getting pretty tired pretty quickly might have to come back again and do this another time because we still got other things to do with our lives rather than just digging in the ground 
but we are doing really well with getting this up slowly. well I say really well it's pretty slow but it's getting there and so if there's a part of the aspiration where we need to get it higher then hooray we are working on that okay so let's open that up we've got Trevor Night night at the bar. Scooting to the ground. I like how I got the notification for it before it even came up. So we're gonna do that. So we don't really need to refine the alabaster. So we're up to two eight again. So because we did spend a thousand and went down to two four. So we've made an extra four hundred just from digging around on the ground. As well as found half of our things. So you know, that's not too shabby. Another broken fossil. I'd like something other than that. So let's just try a couple of instances of traveling around the, like we'll go there. That's oh, a library. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do a little digging here, see if this helps us find anything. I don't think I ever visited this lot when I was playing Moonwood Mill. <laughs> I'm shocking like that. Okay, nothing there. Peach. This is just a theory that, um, you know, that I should dig around all the different lots. <laughs> I really don't know. There might be like a werewolf ability where uh, you can sniff around for things. I'm sure that's the case. I vaguely remember that. Ah! Uh, see? There we are. I am exhausted, so now's not the time, but enhanced smell. I just want to test it out. So what happens? Oh, I should maybe dig here. Ah, ha! Okay, Velvet is not going back to the lot. I'm going to have a nap. Oh no! Oh, okay, we well, can go scratch that if you want. Okay, I'm going to whip off to the bathroom. We've had a bit of a nap, so that's rather handy. Uh, and we're just going to get ourselves clean. We are hungry at this point, so I might see if I can pick up some food around the place. But, because we've got our sniffing ability now, we're going to sniff out the treasures, and I think that's going to make life so much easier, because I think we're up to, what, seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's amazing. Oh, you should groom yourself. That's a good idea. Groom yourself. Get our werewolf points up. Ah, the summer's smarter than me. Thinking about it. Oh well. So, energy's not too bad. We are hungry. So, let's. I don't think there's uh, anywhere we can eat here. My cat's just found his mousy in the background. <laughs> so if you hear some weird noises, it's him playing with his mousy. It is hilarious. Uh, okay, so let's uh, go here. And then we can do our smelly thing. Werewolf enhanced smells. Let's see if we can find a little smelly spot. Is there any little smelly spots? No. So let's go over here. See if we can sniff out some treasure. And werewolf enhanced smell. Is there any treasure around here? No. Okay. Let's go over here. This makes life a little bit easier rather than just digging in random spots. Doing our smell vision There's the spot. Okay. Okay, so we've got to repeat. That's okay. I wonder if we can go hunting. No. Um, you're not doing that. So let's go over here. 
get our smell vision going on. Smell a vision. And enhance smell. Anything, anything, anything. Uh, oh, there we go. There's a spot. Let's hope it's not a double up. Ooh, it's not. Yeah, baby. Um, where else can we go? Let's go over here by the restroom. Maybe we should see if we can find her some food around the place. Can we toast marshmallows on those? No. Beastie boogie though. Oh, I know you're angry. I know, I know. It's hard being a werewolf. Okay, is there anything? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Got a spot. Ooh, what are we going to get? What are we going to get? This is kind of fun. Tape. Wow. Okay, so how are we looking? We can sell the, the double ups of these. So I think we're still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Double ups. It's alright. Get the money for them. So it's not too bad. I'll see if I can find some food around. Actually, you know what? She could eat the mushrooms we have in here. Move down the mushroom. Might make her happy. At least stave off the hunger a little bit. There we go. Okay. So let's head uh, over the bridge and here. Oops, I don't want to do that. I want to go here. Actually, we almost leveled up too, so we're doing pretty good. So, enhanced smell. Can we, yes, we found a spot. Let's see what we can find here. Anything, anything, anything new? Pot shard turning. Uh, ugh. Okay, double up. Let's see. What else can we go over here? Over by these secret doors for the underground tunnel. You know what? Might harvest some of these mushrooms first. So we can just eat those until I can find some food from somewhere. Sure, you can like gardening. I don't mind that. Uh, okay, enhance the smell. Found anything? Oh no, I'm very angry. Scavenge the ground. Oh, it's a full moon! Yeah, baby! Okay, so we can do the full moon while we're at Moonwood Well. That's amazing! Okay, that's great timing. I don't understand how the moons work in The Sims, but that's cool. Werewolf, so maybe we should howl. And enhance smell, I might just try that again. So if we find anything else. Uh oh. I'm now a prime uh, werewolf, so that's great. I don't know what it means exactly, but. Go here ferociously. Scavenge the ground. I'm just gonna get in running around scavenging things while we're uh, in a werewolf mode. Where have we gone? Oh boy. Was <laughs> she checking her phone while she was running? <laughs> that was great. I love it. Look, checking her phone while she's running. <laughs> it's so dumb. I love it. <laughs> and she's got no pants on. No pants for you. So that, oh, we're just getting lots of double ups at the moment. Oh, 250 though. We are making money. Not going to complain about the money side of things. Do I want to go on a date? No thanks. I'm busy being a werewolf right now. Can I? Oh, I can't smell ferociously. I mean, can't smell ferociously. <laughs> Let's try and regain control. We did it! Good job, Sylvia. You are amazing. 
No, I don't know where you're going. Somewhere. I don't want you to really want your smell in the library. I don't think that's going to be much help. This kid stinks. <laughs> oh, she's scared of the dark. Oh, man. Maybe I should drink like I'm not scared of the dark potion. She really does need to talk to some people too. Okay, so let's scavenge down there. Ooh, a history of Moonwood Mill. Is that a relic or just a book? Just a book. Meh. Not what I want. Oh no, I keep on doing the wrong thing. Go here. I know you're scared of the dark. It's a dumb fear. Oh, you're hungry. Okay, 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 okay. Last one, and then we'll go deal with your, your hunger, I think. And we'll uh, come back and do Moonwood moon Milling another time. Ooh. So it's been quite lucrative, I think. So we've just made like a thousand simoleons just from digging around. Yes, okay, you can go home. Okay, we're going to get Sylvia some food, and she can have a chitty chat to her buddies. Because she is a little bit angry at the moment. Uh, and that might calm her down. Attempt simlish communication. Okay. Oh dear. Let's see if we can get her to gain control again. There we go. There we go. There we go. So you go eat. And have a chat to your witchy buddies. So, uh, I'm going to focus on someone else right now. So let's see what we've got. So we've got our vampire needs some uh, plasma. We can do that. Drink, drink, drink. And what else do we need to do? Become a minor vampire. So we just need to get our vampire experience up. Actually, our vampire experience isn't too, too low. We're almost there. So let's focus on getting that up. Uh, so I think doing some dark meditation would be a good idea, so we can get our vampire energy up at the same time. I don't think our cats like each other. So how are we going? So, um, would it be worth kind of like inviting like Vlad over or something for like a spa? Would that help me get that up a little bit faster? We'll die for some deals. And I want to look at, um, in probably the next episode, maybe, um, how much these things are going to cost for our house aspirations. Ugh, never die very much. So what else can we do for Vampire? Show dark form? Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. That's my dark form. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> my dark form. Okay. What else can I do that's vampiric? I'm going to invite Vlad over for a fight. If I can get him over. Yes, I can. Yay! Come on over, Vlad. We want to fight. Or get some vampire training. Actually, that might be quite nice. Vlad. Where did you pop to? Okay, there we go. Uh, request some training. Okay. That should be a good idea. Let's see if we can do some training. I was thinking, oh, I was going to read books as well, wasn't I? That was the other thing I was going to do to get, try and get my training up. Look, 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 it's going up. Yes, okay, we did it. We're now, I'm now a minor vampire. She has started the ascent to the unhallowed rank of Grandmaster Vampire. Keep using powers, researching vampires, and talking to other vampires to earn more vampire experience. Okay, yay! So we're going to reach Vampire Lore Level 7. We're actually at 5, so it's not too bad. Defeat 3 vampires in combat. Okay, so it's very much like the magic user one. And become a prime vampire. So, I'm going to just keep being buddies with Vlad here. And doing vampire things. And that might help me get there a little bit faster, I think. 
I don't, don't know what ladders actually. I'm not doing the vamp, uh, the uh, hallucination thing again because, let's face it, that was terrible last time. I just got dazed and like stood there for like ages. I wasn't happy about that one. Oh, Vlad, where are you going? You can talk to the key. Show off the powers. What else can we do with Vlad? Uh, Vampiric Spa. Let's try that again. Why are we sad? Awful lot of Oh, I didn't even notice. I was too busy focused on my vampire werewolf thing stuff. Ah, where have I gone? There we are! Vampire spa time! Yeah, baby. Actually, we've got some power points to spend too. Does that help get our thing up? Alright, well. Vlad. It did help it a little bit. It's a little bit more purple. So let's have a look at our power points. What can we do? Use the vampire energy. I actually quite like that, so maybe we should do that. And then we can look at some of the other ones as we get up to Grandmaster. Whoa, we've got ages to go to get to Grandmaster. If that's what we need to do. So let's gather some water and look for some frogs, because we can turn those into plasma packs. So I'm into that. And then, let's have a quick look at Seraphine here. So they're having a gossip. Oh, Vlad is, Vlad is fixing our toilet. What a sweet guy. Look at that guy. Oh, fixing our toilet. What a sweetheart. Everyone complains about Vlad, but let, let's face it, he's a darling, isn't he? <laughs> I may be exaggerating a little bit. Um, okay, so we need to open up another present there. And you can open a present too. Everybody open a present. Then I think you better go to the toilet. Take your feral poo. Oh, everybody needs to go to the toilet too. Well, thank you, Vlad. Oh, that reminds me. I was going to send this off for refinement too, wasn't I? Oh, we got a slablet. That's worth some money. So I think in the next episode we'll definitely start buying some of the stuff that we need um, to complete our aspirations for our houses. And because we, we've got plenty of uh, rooms that we can make, so we can make like a bathroom, bedroom, living, bathroom, bedroom, living, bathroom, bedroom, living. So that's my aim is to have three rooms per person, bathroom, bedroom, living, and then they're going to have their combined space, which is going to be bathroom, bedroom, living, uh, and kitchen. So I think the kitchen should definitely be combined. So it is daytime now, uh, which means that I should put my vampire to bed. My stinky, stinky vampire. So I think I might get her hibernating in her coffin for the for the daytime. And just see what we can do quickly with our spellcaster. Um, if we can go and reach maybe in another level with our spellcasting would be probably quite great. Daddy, and we've got a slablet, so we can sell that for a thousand. <laughs> Love it. So I don't know if reading her spell book actually helps her or not. I mean, I would think that it does. So we should probably study that some more, actually, before we run off to wherever we're going to run off to. Oh, no, the, food, the kitties need food, so let's fill that up. Oh, hang on. Fill. Fill that up and let's, you can scrap that paint. Sylvia has successfully unleashed her inner beast and bask in the moonlight. The time has come to decide whether she wants to join a pack, carve her own path as a lone wolf or return to life as a normal sim. Ah! Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm going to show you the collective. Uh, I think we might do that. So... Um, well, okay, so Sylvia is done. So we've completed her thing, uh, her aspiration. So that's cool. So she's on a second one. But we'll let her turtle along with that. So yay! 
we did that so we just need to do her house and then Sylvia is finished that's great so we can focus on the other two sims for now um, so we've got to work on level three adept for her so we need to maybe we should get um, a cauldron actually because we need to get a cauldron anyhow for her house so we, maybe you could go over and do the gardening. So we can actually maybe get um, be in charge of like making money for the group now that she's had successfully completed her aspiration. I'm really proud of her. She did really well. So she can do that. Um, and I want to buy a cauldron. So let's do that because we need to buy a cauldron anyhow for our house aspiration so I think I need the cauldron of excellency anyway so 1300 let's go purple uh, so that bed won't be staying there because we're going to create a bedroom so we'll do that in our tower so that's going to be going up there okay so if we get her doing that and doing spells and we're doing pretty well I think we need to clean up that mess Um, experiment and maybe we could brew some potions. Oh, that's right. We need ingredients Hmm, okay So we can experiment anyway, and I think we might leave the episode there I think we've done really well. We have completed one aspiration. So one aspiration complete. I am super happy about that So well done to Sylvia. So she was the first one to finish. I actually thought that um, Seraphine was gonna be the first one to finish but no Good old Sylvia here was the first one to do it. Good job. So thank you for watching and I hope you have fun and I will catch you in the next episode. Let's see if we can get another aspiration complete. That would be amazing. But we are going to um, maybe do a little bit of investigation with the prices of some of our aspiration for the houses stuff. Our goals for the houses. So we've got one thing with the, with the cauldron. So we've got some more things to do. Let's work on the werewolf uh, hangout maybe. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.